In this video, I will show you how to transfer photos and videos from your Android device to your laptop or PC. To get started, grab a USB cable that's compatible with your Android device. Connect one end to your phone and the other end to an available USB port on your laptop or PC. Once connected, look at your phone's screen. A pop-up will appear asking, allow access to phone data? Tap on allow to grant permission. Next, ensure that the correct USB mode is selected. Swipe down from the top of your screen to access notifications and tap on the USB options. Choose USB for file transfer in the settings menu. Now that everything is set up on your Android device, let's move over to your laptop or PC. On Windows, double-click on this PC or click on the File Explorer icon located in the taskbar at the bottom of your screen. Once opened, you should see your connected Android device listed among other drives. Double-click on it to open its contents. Now that you've accessed your phone's storage, look for a folder named DCIM. This is where most smartphones store camera images and videos. Double-click on the DCIM folder. Inside, there may be several folders, typically, you'll find a folder named Camera. Double-click it as well. To select a photo or video for transfer, simply click once on it. If you want multiple files, hold down the control key while clicking each item you wish to select. Once selected, right-click on any highlighted file and choose Copy from the context menu. Next, navigate over to where you want these files saved on your computer, this could be in Pictures folder or anywhere else convenient for you. Right-click in an empty space within that folder and select Paste. The files will begin transferring from your Android device onto your computer. Now you're ready. You can unplug the USB cable without worrying about corrupting any data. And there you have it, transferring photos and videos from an Android device to a laptop or PC is quick and straightforward when following these steps. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.